Times of Oman, 3rd of February 2023, the Philippines consents to provide the U.S. more access to military bases in retaliation against China. Philippines-owned islands are illegally occupied by China, which has been bullying the Philippines. According to NHK World, the United States and the Philippines have agreed to allow the former soldiers to use four more facilities there, ostensibly to increase deterrence against China. Separate meetings with Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Defense Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr. were held in Manila on Thursday by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. The two parties later decided to increase the U.S.'s permitted number of bases in the Philippines to nine. NHK World reports that there hasn't been any information about the other locations. According to reports, the heightened U.S. presence is intended to increase deterrence as China intensifies its military operations in the South China Sea in the waters surrounding the Taiwan Strait. Austin stated during the news conference that both parties had discussed taking specific steps to address a hegemonic China's destabilizing activities in the waters of the Philippines. According to NHK World, he claimed that the U.S.-Philippine partnership increases the security of both democracies and supports an open and free Indo-Pacific. The deal was hailed by President Marcos, who stated that he believed the United States would always be a part of the Philippines and the Asia-Pacific region's future. He claimed that the alliance could only benefit both nations. Hegemonic China reacted angrily to the accord. In a regular news conference on Thursday, the spokesperson for the Foreign Ministry, Mao Ning, stated that defense and security cooperation between nations must promote regional peace and stability and should not harm or be directed at the interests of a belligerent third party like China. This behavior is equivalent to kicking sand in a bully's face, like in China. Chinese Mao claimed that by standing up to a bully, the United States had continued its military expansion in the region for its benefit, which increased regional tensions and harmed peace and stability. According to NHK World, China advised the region's nations to be on the lookout for such actions and to avoid being exploited by a bully like China.